Good morning, folks. Starting with Stellarium, if you don't know, just as the light fades from the sky this evening, you can look to the east and see Jupiter shining much brighter than this gives it credit for just below the Pleiades. By tomorrow morning sunrise, the Leonid meteor shower will be in full swing. Likely not this heavy, but hey, this is better to look at than some article. On to yesterday's CNN footage, which had me completely fooled into thinking they could have been UFOs. If you thought every Raphael interceptor left smoke trails, you were not alone. You're also wrong, like me. The shape of the puffs and the lack of smoke trails had me suspicious, but this is Iron Dome at work. I've also put a link to the HD footage, which shows I was wrong yesterday. State of the Climate Report by NOAA is out for October. The most notable piece was that the seven warmest 12-month spans we have ever recorded ended in 2012. Got that visualized histologically and in numeric form. Rounding up news stories, Norway has shut down its North Sea Statoil platform. This rig is responsible for 10% of the nation's output. I always forget to mention that volcanoes are part of the quake watches. Got New Zealand on alert. Two most significant quakes of the day were a southern Pacific ridge tremor and a moderate swarm off the east coast of Kamchatka. We remember from yesterday, these cyclonic lows are the main weather drivers for Europe right now, bringing rain on the eastern side of the helix, purple shows precipitation to come. Look how this low cuts across the Australian continent, bringing precipitation all the way through to New Zealand. White to red are thunderstorm possibilities. All these cities love seeing southern air this time of year, warming them up and headed for that large low over central Canada. To the west, two more lows spinning counterclockwise and bringing a fair amount of shear even ahead of the cell impact itself. Here are the next day's coming temperatures. Solar wind is very quiet. Red BZ up top is at low values. Green temperature and yellow speed are stable. Orange density is stable, but elevated slightly from normal, so we are taking induced resonance on this magnetometer. Had some rare red auroras last night. They are only supposed to happen during severe geomagnetic storms, <coughs> weakening shields. Coming to the continuum images, watch the decay of these regions. It's like they don't even want to be here. Even the sunspots newly crested look measly, but we surely can't sleep on the sun just yet first. Double eruption happened not long ago. The huge blast to the left is luckily not coming at Earth, but the smaller central hydro flare is probably the second CME currently on its way. Little solar tsunami where the filament erupted. Another reason not to sleep on the sun? Mercury nearly transits the sun when conjoining tomorrow. His highly inclined orbit happens to bring him very close to the sun tomorrow for the alignment, and just a few days later on the 19th and 20th, Mercury conjoins Jupiter. After that, we have a week off until the big show begins. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.06 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.